look ahead of us. Many power lines. <laughs> we're going up to Roach Lake here, and it's a dry lake bed, and we're gonna try to kiteboard our land kite. Here we are on the dry lake bed. There's a slight breeze blowing, so we may be able to go on this. We passed a sign back there a little bit that said uh, no trespassing um, and no dumping, but uh, if we're not dumping, I guess we're okay. Here's Michael getting ready for uh, land kiting. He's got gloves and knee pads. The wind is kind of blowing, but that's all right. Even if we don't get the wind, we can always jump on the train. Wave your hand. Wow, your shirt matches. Okay, so now we've got maximum protective gear on. You can see my uh, knee pads there. Yeah. Um, with minimal wind. Maximum protection with minimum danger. Getting ready. <laughs> That's a good yellow shirt, man. Yeah, the only thing is, is when you start getting out in front of the kite, then it starts to die. How's it feel? Stronger than the trainer. Yes. Good. So you're going to just go yeah. and then uh, see if you can make it back. Sure. That's it. That's it. Go, go, go. Exciting, but um, there it is. Ground kiting 101. Very light wind. No jumping today, probably. As you can see, this is Jeff. He's hooked up um, to his uh, bar. The bar is hooked up to the car. <laughs> There's no wind, so we had to improvise. And this is my first trip to Endor. <laughs> this is going to be good. It's gonna be hard driving with one hand, but we'll manage. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna focus on driving. There's Michael now. Okay, now it's, uh, sun is set, no wind today, so we're disappointed, but there's Michael, and we are on the lake of dryness, so what else are you going to do on a lake of dry without wind? Here we go.
It's a shark. Uh, uh, well, there's our trail of dust right there. Eat my dust. It is good.